Hey, welcome to Scripting 3, where you can learn all about JavaScript in short tutorials of around three minutes or less. Today is the first in a series um, about using Redux with jQuery. And a big question, why would I use Redux with jQuery? I heard that it's used mostly for React, and this is very true. But <coughs> a good reason for using Redux with the, uh, jQuery is you can have this central stream of data um, that is held within your application and when changes are made to it, it will update everywhere on, on the page, just like it does in React. Whereas with jQuery, uh, you don't need to, you know, you don't need to be using React and you can still have all of this benefit of having a central store that when it changes, it updates everywhere on your, on your, on your application or on your page. Um, and it makes it very easy to store that, you know, the settings and things from that page. It makes it easy to store them with a with a user or in local storage wherever it is, and then bring that back um, later on for, for for use again, and then automatically reset the whole page. So we're just going to sort about the sort of, uh, look at the HTML setup that I've got at the moment. And this is one way of doing it. You could download and, and use the the Redux library yourself. Um, and then serve it up. In this case, I'm actually using a CDN link. So looking in here, I've got one link here for the Google Fonts, um, which is to do with changing the font um, in, in, in this uh, actual mini application. And then here, the next is that I've got this Redux library. I've got the latest Redux library here from Cloudflare. And then uh, I'm also uh, bringing in the latest version of jQuery 2. If you're using uh, JSBin, then you can get the um, you can get the jQuery here, but I don't think the Redux is available. And then looking further down in my body, I've got this input here with an ID of square, and then a placeholder, try something, and then I've got this ID uh, display, which is this item here. Now having a quick look at this functionality, when I type in here uh, something new, then you know it's updating, actually it's updating the, the Redux store, uh, where, where all the data is, and then that's pushing that update straight into the um, this div div here, the, the, the div that you see there. Now, cool thing is this is also saving to the local, but you could save it to the to a database too. So when I run uh, run it again, then it's still there. And then if I reload the page as well, also it's still there because it's stored in the in the local storage and uh, also in the Redux store. So it's getting it out of the local storage. In, uh, into the to the Redux store and then pushing it into this div. All right, so that's uh, uh, the one for now. Don't forget to see the next in this series, uh, and we'll dive more into the into the JavaScript. All right, thank you. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and like and leave comments below.